we bless God and we believe that the full testimony will come through. And right now we have a caller on the line. Amen. The caller we have Johannes from Pretoria confirming a prophecy regarding a severe headache. Hello, Johannes. Hello, 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 Murvilia. I'm good. How are you? Mm, uh, let me just greet my father and everyone who is there, the disciples. Uh, this uh, 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 prophecy, uh, the people who are suffering from a uh, uh, severe headache. Okay. Yes. Uh, as you were ministering the others, it was like it was on top of my head. Suddenly, it has moved uh, towards my right, so whereby now it's affecting my ears, and uh, even my eyes. Uh, I sometimes see blurry, okay. and uh, it has, and it has affected also my. It's like, it's like uh, I can't think. I, I can't think properly. Uh, most especially when I'm trying to read the word. Then for me to, 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 to meditate, I can't even remember what I, what I was reading about. Okay. And uh, even, the, even the dreams, it was difficult for me to remember. Every, every single dream that I've dreamt, it's difficult for me to remember that. The only dream that I can remember is when I have dreamt about my father, but the rest, and even I can't just, uh, it, actually the peace piece, I, I remember only the peace piece, I can't just uh, I, I put everything together. And make a full statement. Okay. Yeah. Is that all? Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me pray for you. Amen. The hand of the Lord is upon you. God is locating you. God is removing that headache in the mighty name of Jesus. God is delivering you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is changing your story in Jesus' mighty name. From the soles of your feet, you are blessed to the tips of your hair. You are blessed. That which is causing this is departing. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. Receive your freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. You evil spirit, you are leaving him right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you evil spirit, you evil spirit, you are departing from him right now. In Jesus' mighty name, restoration is taking over your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, your memory is restored. Every area of your life is restored for the glory of the Father. Hello? Hello, 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 hello Father. How are you feeling? Uh, it, it now came on my forehead. It's on the forehead? Yeah. Okay. Restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus, restoration is taking over your life right now. God is touching you. God is ministering to you right now in Jesus' mighty name. And then how is it now? I feel like my head is divided now. Okay. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your hand upon him. We thank you, Father, for touching him, for restoring him, for setting him free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your word. 
upon your son right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, the word is manifesting in the mighty name of Jesus. Hello? Hello, my brother. You could have young. You could have fish, I'm Mm. Okay. It's like, um, mm. it's like it's like there's a there's a knot inside my head. Okay. God is busy with you. Complete deliverance is taking over your life. Complete deliverance is taking over your life. All evil has departed in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil spirit has departed in the mighty name of Jesus. Complete deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Hello? Hello. And then what's the halang, no? Yeah, I'm feeling dizzy now. Okay. Complete deliverance. Complete deliverance. God is restoring your health. God is restoring your memory. In the mighty name of Jesus, your dreams are restored. In Jesus' mighty name, all the visions, the appearances of the Father, the trances, in the mighty name of Jesus. And then how are you feeling? Okay, now it's fine now. I yes. can feel all that. Okay. Yeah. God is with you. God amen, is with amen. you, Ne. Come again. I'm saying God is with you. Amen. 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 Yeah, you amen. are blessed. Amen. Just enjoy brother. yourself in the presence of the Father. Amen. 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 Read the word, pray. Do you have all those um Mind management scriptures. Come again. The mind management scriptures, do you have them? Yes, yes, I do have them. Yeah, just continue to read them and then you will send a testimony. Amen. Amen. I'll do so. Yeah, send a testimony via the WhatsApp line. Amen. Amen. I'll do so. Amen. You are blessed. We thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye. Amen. Currently, we do not have any caller. Amen. We bless God and we continue with the Zoom. Right now, we have a text that has dropped in in our chat option. It reads as follows. Greetings, Papa. My battery is low. I was writing to ask for forgiveness for disobedience and grumbling and my mortal acts. My heart was closed. I never spoke evil of my father, yet my deed or my attribute of my unbelief were evident. I know I'm not trusted in my, in my father's presence, but I plead for mercy of God. Please do not take, please do take, please do take me by the hand. Crush me and mold me. Your love can never fail. I suffer with character, and I believe that your teachings will wash me. Please forgive me, my father. I fell to the ditch. I acted as matured, yet I was not. I was convincing. The wrath of God is kindled against me, but where can I, depart, where can I go departing from you, from you? I run to you. May the Lord forgive me, mold me, into your image. Snatch me from hell. That is Joshua bar Daniel. Joshua bar Daniel, can you please unmute your mic and speak to the Father, please? Yes. Hello, Joshua? It seems like your network is bad. Can you try to raise your voice? Can you hear me? 
We can hear you, but your voice is big. Yes, try to raise your voice again and speak to Papa, please. Greetings, Papa. Greetings, Daniel, Joshua, how are you? I think as he explained the battery is low, we can't hear him, but you can just pray for him because we understood what he, what he wrote. I believe we already understood what he wrote because we, we can't hear you, Daniel. We can't hear you, uh, Bar Daniel. Um, she's going to pray for you, but we already read the text. I believe um, it's more than enough as well. Don't worry, God is with you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. God is restoring your spiritual life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. God has forgiven you. In the mighty name of Jesus, never again condemn yourself in Jesus' mighty name. God has taken you by the hand to himself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he has nested you in his heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, be rest assured in his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, restoration upon your spiritual life, restoration in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed. You are justified just as if you never sinned. From the soles of your feet to the tips of your hair, the hand of the Lord is upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. Amen. Amen. We believe that uh, he will send his testimony via our WhatsApp line, MMS or SMS. Right now, our beloved Zumas, we ask humbly that if you have any prayer request uh, or prophecy confirmation or you want to interact with our Father by any means, please uh, raise your, vo your, your, your hands by indicating that you want to interact with Daddy. And again, we request that when you are in a room that is dark, try to get a better light and sit properly and dress properly in a manner that is presented. And right now, we are going to be interacting with Beauty, the son of Storm Rider. Hello, Beauty. There's no sound with Beauty. She, she, she didn't unmute her mic. Beauty, it seems like you didn't unmute your mic. Hello, Papa. Hello, Beauty. How are you? Hello. Hello, Beauty. How are you? We are good, I'm good beauty. You, Papa. We are good beauty. Okay. How can we help you? Okay. All I would like to thank God for the disciple and Papa's life. And I also want to thank God for the preachings that you give us on daily basis. And I also want to uh, ask God to keep Raboni television on air. Amen, amen, we thank you. Time. And uh, the other thing that I want to say today to Papa is that I would like Papa to pray for me so that God can keep me during the hour of trial. Because where I'm working, I'm facing a lot of challenges. Because I love God so much and I also want to work for God. So I would like uh, God to keep me during the hour of trial so that I can continue doing the work of God everywhere I'm going. Okay, beauty. Go with Hello, the strength. Can, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Papa, I can hear you. 
Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, just go with the strength that the Lord has given you. Do not fear anything. Thank you, Papa. For you are not alone. God is Thank with you. Thank you, Amen. God is with you. Amen. He can never leave you nor Amen. forsake you. So I'm praying for Amen. more strength upon your life. More strength in the name of Jesus. More strength. More strength to keep you going. More strength for you not to give up during hard times, but to press on. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed, beauty. God is with you. Hello? Amen. Yeah, just keep shining. Okay. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank God. Okay, thank you, Papa. I will, by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And I would also like to say to you, I, I love you all. We love you. Hello, Papa. We love you. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> May God keep you for us so that you can continue feeding us with the true word from above. Thank you, Papa. Amen. God bless you. Amen. The beauty of the Father. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Papa. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All of you in the studio, I love you. I thank God for your life. May you continue to shine more and more. The whole world needs you. Thank you, Papa. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Much love, beauty. Much love. Amen. Amen. And we trust that we trust that her testimony will come through our WhatsApp line, MMS or SMS. And right now we're going back to Lerato and Joseph. Lerato and Joseph, you can please uh, unmute your mic and resume where you left off with the Father. Okay. Thank you for uh, this opportunity again. Uh, I bless God. So as I was speaking, I was, I was appreciating uh, the love of the Father. I was appreciating uh, the testimonies upon our life. I was appreciating uh, the patience of the Father and the endurance of the Father Amen. towards us. So uh, I like to say, I continuously say, Daddy, I thank you because as I've sent my confession, uh, all of my dreams, those that came and that I didn't understand, it's like I received the understanding of, of them. Um, there is another that I heard of uh, me seeing Jesus from afar, ascending, like ascending from a mountain, and it was daytime. So as he was ascending closer to me, it was like he was floating, not walking. So as he came closer, I saw his... his uh, the hair, it was like wool. Uh, so as he came closer, then the color of, her hair, of, of his hair changed to brown. So when he came closer, I said, Jesus, I longed to see you. But when he came closer and his, his hair started to change, I started to have doubts. And then he started to say, uh, you, you, you were eager. You were eager and hungry to meet me face to face. But now when I have revealed myself to you, you treat me like a, just a mere human. Uh, you, you don't see that light that uh, attracted you to me uh, before. So after he said those words, he just pointed me up and said, you need to ascend. So at that time also, uh, as I ascended, as he pointed, I, I started to, I mean, ascend above. So uh, I saw something like a dove of, of a cloud coming within my chest. So at that time also, I didn't understand uh, the message there. 
So I still continued with my life daily. I still continued listening to the teachings uh, until uh, I realized that I, I am not at peace as also the, uh, the visions, the visitations, the dreams will be confirming that uh, I am disobedient to the Father. I am touching the anointing in the wrong manner. And uh, I, am, I am covering what I'm not supposed to, to cover, which means I am protecting sin instead of exposing it. So uh, that is why I like to say I thank Daddy because I believe that I wouldn't come to such a mind by myself if not his patient if not his endurance towards us, it's if not his prayers toward, towards us. So also that dream, according to me, I, if I'm not right, Daddy, please interpret for me. But uh, according to me, what I found out also is that uh, I started to see that this is my father that uh, Jesus Christ uh, came and revealed himself with. It's, it's Papa Lesejo. And uh, I longed to be with such a father in my life. But when he came to my life, I, I disregarded him. I saw him just as a mere man. Mm. That is why I was able to, to keep other stuff as, as though they are not important for me to confess about. Mm. So I would like to say, Daddy, I thank you for your love. I truly thank you for your endurance. I thank you for continuously praying for us and the disciples as you are praying for us continuously, teaching us mm. even while our hearts are closed. Mm. You didn't give up. You continuously prayed until, you know, as you said, you continue to walk, to mm. knock on the, on the door. Mm. If anybody hears you, they should open up and let you in so that you will come in and eat with them. So, uh, Daddy, I would like to say thank you. I don't know what more to say. But I would just like to say I appreciate you because what you see in me, I also did not know what you see in me. Mm. Uh, I'm still looking forward to seeing also with your eyes mm. what you see in me. Mm. So I would love to say, Daddy, I was nobody. I came as a nobody. Mm. I also knew myself as a nobody because also in the world, nobody approved me as somebody. But yet you saw beyond that. So I would like to say thank you, Daddy, so much. I'd like to appreciate you. So I thank you. I thank you. Amen. I believe we understand. Uh, I, I believe we also understand that today's teaching has really helped you with the, the vision that you mentioned now. Um, when the yeah. Apostle Paul says the Christ in me, he also explains in, in, in I mean, in Galatians, Galatians chapter four, from verse twelve. It says when you, uh, the reason why I came to preach the gospel to you, the reason why I came to preach the gospel to you was because of this illness. But when you receive me, you receive me as Christ, you receive me as an angel, even as Christ. Why? That part I want you to understand that I'm, I'm trying to help many who are listening to what you were saying. When you were saying, if I'm wrong, please help me. The Apostle Paul said there, when you receive me, you know, if a person comes sick with illness, you don't expect him to be like somebody who comes to heal you or somebody who comes to help you. You, you, you might be tempted to receive him as a human being because he's sick. So verse 12 of Galatians 4, he says, the reason why I came to preach the gospel to you was because of this illness. You'll, see, you'll hear this part touches the teaching of today, an open heart. He says, instead, when you receive me, you receive me as an angel, even as Christ. It means when they received him, their hearts were opened. They didn't just receive him only. They received Christ they received him as an angel, they received him, they received the gospel. So they passed the test. You get the whole thing, eh? It says you received me as Christ. Anyway. And it, we also go to um, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. The apostle Paul says, do not be ashamed, do not blush to testify about me, do not blush to testify about Christ, no me, so when Timothy comes and testifies about Paul, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, when he testifies about Paul, he has testified about, because he says, do not be ashamed to testify about me, or do not be ashamed to testify about Christ, nor me. 
You get it, no? Mm -hmm. Now, after that, he says, share with me in my sufferings. Romans 8, if we have to share in his glory, we have to also share in his sufferings. But the Apostle Paul says, share with me in my sufferings. I'm trying to show you how people are tempted to receive a person as a human being. Because 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8, it says, Share with me in my sufferings. So remember before he says, do not be ashamed to testify about Christ, nor even me. After that he says, share with me in my sufferings. But Romans 8 says, if we have to share in Christ's glory, we have to share in his sufferings. But 2 Timothy 1, 8, the apostle Paul says, my suffering. So that's why I'm saying, in Christ, there's no idol worship. Amen. That's why if we, we can go deep about this, in Christ there's no idol worship. There's no worshiping of men. Demons became intelligent than men in Acts 19. Yeah, demons became intelligent than men. For men to be intelligent more than demons, he has to, men has to have the mind of Christ, not the mind of men. Not the mind of men. So now, X-19, they said, Paul we know, Christ we know. So they were better than men. They say, Paul we know, Christ we know. So that's why James chapter 2 says, they know that God exists. That's why they shudder. So if they know Christ, they know Paul. If they know Paul, they know Christ. When they see Paul, they know that God exists. They know that God exists. Going back to Galatians 4, he says, when you receive me, you receive me as an angel of God, even as Christ. So that's why many postpone their blessings. No, you cannot be like Christ. No, you cannot be like this. No, you cannot. No. In Christ, there's no idol worship. God intended for men to be like him. God intended for men to be like him. So that's why we don't have to rob ourselves of this blessing. If we speak, confidence is it, the Christ in me. The Christ in me. So when you reveal, you don't reveal yourself, the Christ in you. So those demons know where Christ lives. So I, I believe the teaching of today makes us understand. So many, it's difficult. That's why I say, some people say you worship a person. And many people who say that are those who don't respect the same person. It's because honor went where they dishonored. If it was somebody they honored, they wouldn't complain. But it goes, because honor goes to someone they don't honor. Many people who say, no, if people do this, it's like they honor men too much, it's like they worship men. No, it's because it went, honor went where they dishonor. If it went to somebody they favor, it was okay. No, it won't be any problem. It won't be any problem. It's because honor goes where they dishonor. You understand the whole thing, eh? So I believe today's teaching helps you. If your heart is not open, it says her heart was open to Paul's message. He didn't say Christ's message. Isaiah then say, doesn't say who believes your report. Isaiah says who believes our report. When did Isaiah die on the cross? When did Isaiah die on the cross? But who believes? And listen, he says, Lord who believes our message, our report. Then after that, after he said our report, he says he grew up like a tender shoot out of the ground. The chastisement that brought us peace, us peace. So the peace of our message has come. Not only his message. Amen. That's why I'm saying we need to understand. We need to understand. Many people, the gospel is still missing. The heart is disclosed to understand intimacy with God. Intimacy is to make one with God. Intimacy, you get intimate, you become one. You are intimate with. If you are one with Him, you see the wife, you see the husband, you see the husband, you see them. Because they are one. So. 
We need to identify idol worship out of Christ. In Christ, idol worship cannot be seen. So demons became intelligent than men. Men is not intelligent. Demons are better than men. Until men gets the mind of Christ, he'll be, men will be above men's mind. And demons. So we need to teach this. We need to explain this. And let many understand. Why did Jesus say it? Don't call anyone father on earth or teacher. Because there's only one father in heaven. There's only one teacher. You, you get it, no? He says, don't do what they do. You see, don't do. Jesus said, don't do what they do. But take what is good. But the apostle Paul comes to Philippians 4. Whatever you see in me, or learn from me, put it into practice. So whatever you're seeing in me, the Christ in me. Whatever is in me. Now, if you learn it from me, you have seen the one in me, and you learn from me. So the one in me and me. <laughs> Paul, we know. Christ, we know. Do not blush to imitate. Do not blush to testify about Christ, no me. Paul and the one in him. Paul and the one in him. It's not Paul we know, Christ we know, separated. It's Paul we know, Christ we know, oneness. 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 It's just like that teaching of teaching about do not judge. Me, I do judge. Me, me I judge. And I excel in judging nowadays. Nowadays, I excel in judging. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, the apostle Paul what business is of me when I judge those who are outside? Because those who are outside are to be judged by God. But those who are inside, he said he judges them. He says, yeah. I judge those who are within, those not who are outside. So since when people are stuck with the teaching of do not judge, you are inside, you become useless. Because God has appointed you to judge those who are within. You are useful within. You are useful. So that's why now many... They rush to idol worship quickly before oh, anything. Me, I'm not going to rob myself Moi, of the anointing that God has released with its functions. Avec sa function. With its functions. Avec sa function. function to judge. Function, function, function to reveal. Function to show the Christ. Function to show the Christ in me. Function for me to operate like him. I mean, what I'm saying, it's written in your Bible. It's written. It's not what is from the mind. If you read, it's there. Or maybe it's because the heart was close to understand as one read. But, I, but it's true, it's like that. It means the heart is close. It's clear. It means... Go for you. It means it's closed. It means it's closed, definitely. Because many don't understand the function of the anointing. Many, it's easy to mention anoint me, or many, it's easy to say anoint me, but the functions of the anointing are rejected. I mean, it's anointing. He judges those who are within, and he tells, he gives them to the devil. Can you imagine, he says, ah, have I given them to the devil so that they should learn not to blaspheme? The function of the anointing in him has made him a judge, meditorial agent of divine judgment. Many miss that part. Acts 13, he judged. He judged for Jesus. He judged him. You are going to be blind for a while. So what I'm saying is, we thank God for teaching you this today, and you understand. It, it clearly explained the vision that you saw. And if you have listened, if you have been listening to Friday's teaching, when the Apostle Paul in Acts 26, in Acts 26, he says. 
to the king, I was not disobedient to the vision that I've seen. And as I explained about trances and visions, many when God says do this, they say I cannot. Because the heart is still true, even when you see the vision. The heart is this close, even when you see the vision. There are people that I told the dreams about some people. I would tell them, this person will do that. Ah, they will ignore you. When it happened, they say, why didn't you pray? You tell them, this person is going to do this. And this person is because of it. his constant behavior. This is what he's doing. And he, he must move there. And I'm going to move him there. I'm going to make sure that he goes. Now that's what I did. I'm going to make sure that this person lives there. Because what he's doing, he's deceiving these people, and these people are of God, not his. When it happens, they say, Why didn't you pray for him? You are the one who worships an idol. That's your idol. That's your idol. So I'm not going to pray for an idol. Yeah, I did this. Because you want people that this person is not the right. You receive advices for him all the time. And I'm the one who's feeling agitated. I'm annoyed of him. I feel annoyed. Acts chapter 16, the Apostle Paul was annoyed. It says so. The Bible says he, was, he became annoyed by that fortune teller, by that woman. He became a, so there's annoying in the spirit and there's annoying in the world. When I'm annoyed, the Christ is me, is at work. I don't reject the function of the anointing. It's the anointing. Listen, it's the anointing. One of the functions of the anointing is to be annoyed. So when it does not agree, it says the apostle Paul was annoyed. So I was annoyed by him. And I told them that, no, nah, it's not working this way. When they realized I was telling them the truth, because of the dream that God, I was not disobedient to the vision that God showed me. I don't want to be disobedient. If God showed me, he shows me. So many people's hearts are still close. Even those who were coming to this church, even those who think that close, 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 close. they're good, 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 good. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Jesus knew who did not believe. Jesus knew who did not believe. Jesus knew who did not believe. So don't disregard rain, the functions of the anointing coming to you. There are many who still suffer with understanding why the Apostle Paul was doing this. Why was he like this? No, it's because he was not married, that's why he was like this. What do you mean? Was Enoch not married? Didn't Enoch have children? He was also close to God. Thank you so much. You caused many to be taught even further. <laughs> you caused many to be taught even further. So many, I'm telling you, if a person says do not judge, take him to the deep teaching of judging. If a person says you worship, go deep and check the character of the person who says that. First check the character. It's because the person people respect, they don't respect. They have prepared, preferred people. They have people of their preference whom they respect. And when this is done to them, they don't even say that anything. In Christ, check in Christ. Check in Christ. Let's not go out of check in Christ. And how did you see when you claim you are in Christ? How did you see though? Because you're in Christ. So it means you don't see anything in Christ. So you, you check the vision that you just mentioned. It's exactly what has been taught. Because you get to understand. If we, that's why I say the love story. Let's go to Jesus when John baptized him. The spirit, like a dove, comes in. I'm pleased to be here. The spirit did not refer Jesus somewhere.
And people who are like that, they are angry like the Pharisees. Because the Pharisees saw honor going where they did not honor. Coming with a donkey, but people putting everything with a donkey. People honoring you still come, not a chariot, Papa. Jesus did not come with a chariot. But they saw honor they've never seen. Even when their king and soldiers moving with chariots. And he made it worse. He comes on a big don on a, on, on, on a donkey. After that, he comes off the donkey. He goes on a cult to enter Jerusalem. We, he came with a dishonored beast. But everybody honored. And at the end, they came and say, they came to him. Tell them to be quiet. Jesus says, even in God, there is worshippers out of these stones. True worshippers in spirit and in truth. Out of stones. We need to understand these things. So everybody was angry. Because they saw honor going where they did not honor. That's why I would teach you because I understand being in Christ. And I know the reactions of those who don't want honor to go where they do not want to honor to go. I understand them very well. In other words, you understand true idol worshippers. True idol worshippers. Worse, not even in spirit and in truth. So thank you for, 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 and we thank God for bringing true repentance because understanding has happened and I believe God has opened your heart. I believe it's a teaching on his own now. It's a teaching on his own. If God raises you now, if God raises you now, many people would, would, would know that you carry God. And they will go where God is. <laughs> I mean, the Christ in me. So where do they go? Where do they go? They will go where God is. Do you think Elijah was there for nothing? Isaiah was there for nothing. The meaning of Elijah, you know Elijah, the meaning of Elijah. Or Eli. Eli, you know Eli. Eli. Prophet in the Old Testament. Why did Jesus cry Eli, Eli? My God. My God. Why have you forsaken me? So, if we interpret my God, my God, if you go to Eli and say, I need help, you say, my God, I need help. So the reality has come. <laughs> Eli, 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 my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So the Old Testament was a shadow. The Old Testament was a shadow. Eli, my God. Now the reality has come. It will make you worse. In the Old Testament, your, your heart was even close to understand that Eli means my God. But I'm taking you to the cross. I'm taking you to the cross. Yes, Eli. 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 Spirit of jealousy. Spirit of jealousy. Jealousy. Spirit of jealousy. Because he said, I'm a jealous boy. It's a spirit of jealousy. Do not touch them. Do not do anything to them. They are mine. They are mine. Don't do anything to them. Don't touch them. They are mine. God is full of jealousy. God is full of jealousy. So spirit of jealousy, when he comes down, he makes sure that he is visible on those who are his. 
He becomes visible. On, he does not hide. Because when he rewards them, he rewards them in the open, not in the secret. So we need to understand these matters. We are going to rest this week, so we, must, we, we, dump, the, we dump everything. We dump it. Everybody must meditate. Let's dump it. Even the bread, you see, carelessly dropped down. And we eat what was carelessly dropped down to give life. To give life. All the more. We eat what is carelessly dropped down. Hey, my crew is going now. What is carelessly dropped down? We eat it. Let's dump it. Let's dump that. Uh, uh, zoom, uh, zoom presenter. Zoom presenter now. Let's dump it. Carelessly dropped down. You see, I don't speak about language of the throne. Carelessly dropped down. Carelessly dropped down. God is wonderful. God is excellent. God is excellent. Let's teach until seven in the morning, man. And after that, we eat bread. Because, you know, many drift away from God because of religious mind and the religious talk. What does the lizard talk? The living word is not there. A person who just sit down and rest, just reads one topic, is like John 6. This teaching is too hard. Who can accept it? You give somebody a mind. Now this one supports you. This one supports you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I said we finish at 7 in the morning. But now... But now, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be worse than seven in the morning. Worse than seven in the morning. Every day, until you come back. Every day until you come back. Rasaka bratos, leka gori. Listen, in other words, what we just mentioned now, I'm not going to undermine the Christ in me. I love him and no one will separate me with him. As he said, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Like she said, that's why I'm saying, I want to show you if some of the things, check who is in Christ first. In Christ, there's no idol worship. There's no idol worship. So you can't accept what is in Christ with a religious mind. Your heart will not understand because it's closed. You grumble, you will never understand. You grumble, you won't get it. You won't get it. You won't get it. We are going to bury you without knowing it. Because you grumble. I mean, you hear when you grumble. You, 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 you. God, you, you miss an opportunity for God to open your heart. John 6, it's clear. It's clear. Can you imagine? Part of them, part of them is in Matthew 7. We heal the sick in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We prophesy. He says, I never knew you, you evildoers. The son knows the father. The father knows the son. So he says, I never knew you, you evildoers. The truth that sets free, it's the truth that heaven confirms. It's the truth that the Holy Spirit confirms. Because people accuse one another with the truth. Are you aware? People accuse one another with the truth that they don't understand. Comfortably sitting in your discomfort. Can you imagine? Comfortably sitting in your discomfort. May under the impression that it's comfort when it's not. 
Comfortably sitting when it's not comfortable. So let's check the truth. So if you say why, look, to me, you are insulting me. You say I'm an idol. There's difference between honor and idol worship. So God, is, I thank you, God, for snatching you out. This is snatching a person out. Because if, that's why I'm showing this vision deliberately. When the spirit like a dove came to Jesus, did not refer Jesus somewhere. Jesus has ascended. When the spirit comes, he came up out of the water. Then the spirit came in. That's why I'm saying I thank God for this. God has blessed you, and we thank God for snatching you out. And thank you for the prophecy. You became obedient, obedient by saying those who are doubting this belief. Is your heart open to what I'm saying? Am I making you an idol? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you Alors, for being obedient to the teachings. Why did Paul say Paul in Philippians 2, I have no one like Timothy? No. He doesn't say God has no one like Timothy. He says, I have no one like Timothy. What did God make him see in Timothy? He says, I have no one like Timothy. There were many people who served God. Why did he see Timothy? He says, I have no one like Timothy. Was Timothy his mental support? Thank you. God is with you. Is there anything you want to say before we finish? Thank you for teaching many. Thank you, look, you look like twins. Thank you, same time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Baba. No, I thank God for snatching out. I believe today it has brought thank you for blessing answers to many. It has brought a lot of answers. Stop living the way you lived when people gave religious attitudes. I want to want to say teaching attitude. You accepted an attitude, not an even weird. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Merci. Let's go to another Zuma. Bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 We bless God and we believe. Oh, you're back, MC Zuma. <laughs> Carelessly drop down. <laughs> Carelessly drop down. Carelessly drop down. <laughs> Okay, Zuma. Oh, even Zuma is born. Oh, Carelessly drop down. Carelessly drop down. That's why we get the anointing. That's why we eat the bread of life. Carelessly drop down. Hey, people are on the ground. Do you know that there's immortal? She's on the ground here. There's immortal on the ground. Wow. <laughs> she can't hold the camera now. Wow. Carelessly drop down. Wow. She can't hold the camera. Wow. I, I, I love the way that the Holy Spirit confirms. God confirms. Let me, I'll become the Zoom MC, Zoom presenter. Can I become the Zoom presenter? Anyone with a raising of a hand? Uh, okay, we'll go to... And Jabulo. Okay, Jabulo. Hey, that's a Jabula, man. Hey, people are married. Look at the cheeks now. Look at their cheeks. People are married. Look at their cheeks now. Jabulo, is it you? Yes, daddy, that's me. Is it mustache or what? Daddy, I'm not sure. 
You're not sure. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you, Teddy. Hey, we bless God, man. Hey, the husband is like the one, you're the one who experienced lockdown. <laughs> I'm trying to look at your wife. Yeah. She, she still looks the same. And you, it's like you experienced lockdown. <laughs> yes, there I was taking everything inside. Everything inside. When she was at the hospital, no? Yes. You said, I'm doing it alone. I'm eating her now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, baby, baby. Wonderful. We bless God. When, <laughs> when did the baby come? Thank you. When did the baby come? Uh, on Saturday on the 28th of November. Oh, the baby's fresh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you broke religion. If it were in religion, they were saying she, the baby must be in the bedroom for six months or for a month or whatever before they come out. <laughs> so now the baby's on Zoom. <laughs> break religion. Destroy religion. I mean, religious people, you, you were supposed to be in the bedroom for a month, some they say six months. Huh? Now the baby is all over the world, all over the show. Hey, wonderful. Jabulo. Ah, see a jabula kakulu baba, man. Manjo win, manjo win daughter, man. Baba, Baba in Jabulo. Thank you, Teddy. What to name a star? She goes a galana much. Hey, no, we bless God. We thank God. We thank God for you guys. God loves you. We thank God for what we see. Beautiful, wonderful. Thank you, Teddy. Papa, we had some uh, some bit of challenge. Mm. Um, last week, Thursday. Okay, let's start on on Tuesday. Mm. Uh, he started having some yellowish skin, mm. and then on Thursday, his eyes turned yellow also. Mm. So he was admitted. At Doi Pasture mm. for three Is days, uh -huh. and then today he, he went out. Okay, was it jaundice? Yes, it's yes, jaundice, yes. ne? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so they told us to go on checkup next week Monday. Mm. I don't know to what God is with you guys. God is with you. You just play the bass guitar only there, and then. That's it. <laughs> Don't forget yourself. <laughs> Plays guitar. You know, in secular music, we call them ding dings. <laughs> hey, Shubaba. Hey. No, don't worry. I'm going to minister to the child now. No. Thank you. God is with you. The word of the Lord has come yeah. on the roof, locating the child right now, to cleanse the child, to purify the child. The word of the Lord has come, restoring the child. It is done. Life light is on the child right now. All is well, and it is done. The child has prospered in every way. The, the, the child has prospered in every way. The soul has prospered, and the body has prospered, and it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. God is with you. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. God is with you. Enjoy yourselves, now. Yes, yes, Papa. Bless you, bless you. Please just just try and monitor the fridge and, and oh, maybe it's, you are the one who didn't cook correctly. You must cook right, man, wife, man. Come on. <laughs> cook just as I taught you, man. Okay, I think during the week I must two, two, three episodes of cooking, you know, just to come back and to yeah, help people, you know. <laughs> with, with healthy cooking. It's like when I take time not cooking, people just forget, man. <laughs> So I'll be like Peter. I'm going to remind you. I'm going to tell you the same things that I, that I told you, so that you can leave. Uh, okay, Papa. I think I think during the week, what must I cook? I think I'll do asparagus and. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey. No, God is with you guys. Thank you, Daddy. Bless you. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too, Love you Papa. Too, Papa. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Amen. That oh, was... oh, you're back. <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> you're back. I nearly went on. Uh, we bless God and we believe that their testimonies will come through our WhatsApp line that is displayed on the screen. And right now, we're going to be interacting with Shoelace. Philip, can you please unmute your mic? Shoelace, can you please unmute your mic? You know, you be like, Shoelace. Hello? <laughs> Next time you go, you hear somebody saying, I'm, I'm Kunupi. I'm a button. Hello, 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 Papa. Hello, how are you? I'm blessed, I'm blessed, Papa. They were talking and about I, you I here. Want <laughs> I want to greet. <laughs> they were talking about you. Sorry. I want to greet all. Hello, Papa. Yes, I'm listening. Shoelace. Uh, I just want to uh, greet all the disciples and uh, everyone that said, Papa. Amen. And Amen. I just want to say, I love you so much. Love you too, guys. I mean, love. My heart is full of love. Ah, we love you. We love you. <laughs> you make me crazy, Papa. Amen. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here I have got my sister. We thank the Lord for all the message, Papa, that you have taught us. And the message is sustaining us. Amen. So I just want to thank you. Uh, uh, you are a father. You, uh, God give us a real father. And we thank the Lord for everything that you have done for us. Uh, we thank the Lord today we are we are the men and women we are the sisters and brothers and everything because of you so we thank the lord i just want to appreciate the love that you give it to us papa amen and i love you so much and even here my sister i'm with my sister here and we are still believing in the word amen. that you give us every day and every second and i'm happy I'm happy, 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 more than the word happy. Amen. Uh, bless my God. sister, she wants to say something here, yeah, Papa. Amen. Hello, Papa. Hello, hello. How are you, sister? Hey, I'm blessed today. One I spoke to you. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. We bless God. Yes. Mm. Yes, Papa. I've been uh, seeing in my dreams. Mm. Mm. And then uh, most of the time, you are you are like you are holding me mm. in your hands so mm. when i fall i just fall right straight into your hands mm. Mm. and then during this week i saw you but in the dream you never said anything you mm. just looked at me and then even yesterday mm. yesterday during the day i also saw we were sitting together with you mm. So today we, we thank the Lord that we managed to to go through Zoom because hey, we're struggling with network this side. Has it? Mm. Yeah, don't worry because you complain. You, but, don't, uh, you, don't, uh, want, you uh, don't want G5. You don't want... <laughs> 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 no, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm just thanking God that today we managed to, to come through. God is with you. No, I, no I it's, uh, we are laughing because it reminds me of the teaching of the 90s. Remember when compute, people didn't want computers? <laughs> they say it's the oh, devil coming. Party, and and people, the year 2000, <laughs> everything will be free. And now computer is right Lord inside church. Lord, 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 we are running TV with Lord, computers. Lord, <laughs> the money, Lord, the money. Lord, they said ATM machines are coming, something is coming. And now the very person who was teaching is withdrawing money from. <laughs> <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember those were born again that time. <laughs> hey, they say the devil is coming. The year 2000 came, we've never seen anything. And now we have laptops. 
You know, now they say we don't have network. Oh, Something yeah. better is coming yeah, to give you network. Hey, the 90s. Hey, the 90s. Hey, the 90s. Hey, the 90s. I thank God for the year 2000 to pass. Hey, people were struggling. You couldn't eat Zimba chips. You opened them right inside the <laughs> <laughs> and now people have forgotten. They just eat Zimba cheese. <laughs> Let's go on to maturity. Whatever you touch is blessed. Amen. Amen. Amen, Papa. He thanks the Lord, Papa. Amen. So don't worry, it will be funny with that work. I can see you're small. Last week I was small on Thursday. <laughs> So I realized that I need yes, something. Papa. I need a better router. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. During, during the nineties, I they were going to arrest me spiritually yeah. if I use a router. <laughs> but now God is using technology to spread the gospel. Yeah. God is wonderful. Yes, God is with you. Let's go no. on. Okay, Papa. No, we thank the Lord, Papa. We thank the Lord. Uh, even even uh, my son, uh, he's performing because we we took him to 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 the school of keyboard keyboardist. Mm. So he's performing well. Wonderful. He, he's we performing. bless God. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. So if your son is a keyboardist, ah, be careful. You must make sure that your shoelaces are tight. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to dance. <laughs> I, I don't want him to be close with my my things. With your things? Yeah. No, don't worry. If they are not my close. Lazy. Yeah, no, no. We, we are not close, but we just play. We just play the keyboard. We just worship. Yeah. No matter how far yes, we are, Papa. all things are possible. Mm. Mm. All things are possible. Yeah. You see, we are far. <laughs> we just play the keyboard. Mm. Mm. We just play the keyboard. Mm. We just play. Mm. You don't want the sun to be close. Mm. Uh -huh. No matter how far we are, <laughs> the wife will become an usher <laughs> because she's not the one who said that. You are the one. You are the one. You are the one. Mm. Have, you ever, have you ever the father going like this <coughs> next to the son? <coughs> it's a yes. It's a yes. Mm. You you don't want closeness. Our 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 worship our worship is not limited. Our worship is not limited. Get all the more. Get all the more. Get all the more. Be flooded 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 all the more. In Jesus' name. Be blessed, all of you. Enjoy it in Jesus' name. Amen. You must stop saying sons don't come close to our shoelaces. That's why we worship at the feet of Christ. Enjoy, be flooded. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. We bless God and we believe that their testimony will come through our WhatsApp line, MMS or SMS. And right now we're going to be interacting with Shilongo family. Shilongo family, can you please unmute your mic and let us know where are you zooming from, please? Yes, yes, yes. Good evening, Papa. Uh, greet. Good evening. Greeting to Papa. Good evening, Shilongo. Yes, Papa. Yes, Good where, evening. Where are you zooming from? 
Uh, we are zooming from Namibia. Namibia. Wow. God is with you. God bless you. Are you alone tonight? Yeah. Then my wife went to sleep already. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let her sleep. Mm. Yeah. No, Papa. I have some few prayer points here. Mm. Uh, these days, whenever I'm reading the Bible, uh, if I am to read the one to three verses, then I feel like closing the Bible. Is it? And uh, about my wife also, whenever she reads the Bible, she feels sleepy. Mm. Uh, another prayer point is uh, there are some noises and some movements on top of the roof, especially at this time of the night mm. for some times. Mm. The, we are still struggling with stagnation. Mm. Uh, things are not moving well mm. at all. Not to worry, God loves you. Uh, God is going to bless you. Yes, and, and also affection itself for my wife. Mm. I'm struggling with it. Mm. Yeah, and uh, my wife is always experiencing this uh, this pain on her on her back on her, and also on her stomach. Mm. The doctor said it's gastric. Yeah, okay. that is it, Papa. Okay. That's the prayer point of tonight. Thank you. The word of the Lord has come on the door, locating you together with your wife, penetrating both of you, destroying all evil, all darkness. Every evil standing mm -hmm. in the way departs. That which stops you, that which prevents you from studying the Bible departs. We command all evil to go. We command all evil to depart. Your bodies have prospered against that which causes tiredness. The word of the Lord has mm -hmm. come to restore you, to give you energy from above. The word of the Lord has come to strengthen you. I speak life, I speak light in your finances. I speak life, I speak light in your life, in your body. Life, light has come and it is done in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Where is your wife? Thank you. Oh, that, she's coming like a speed fire. How, who waked who woke up? Who woke up? You know what's a speed fire? <laughs> I greet you, Papa. Yeah, I, I greet you too. I saw I was praying for your husband. Your husband was closing his eyes. When you came, he jumped. <laughs> Check, how, how, That's true, Papa. How, how's the pain that we were talking, he was talking about? How's the pain now? Oh, the pain, the, the, the thing is that I have a, too much ice in the stomach. How's the pain now? Because he asked us to pray for you. How's the pain? On the chests. On the, on the yes, how's the pain? I'm still feeling the pain. How's the pain now? Small, small. Small pain, just Papa. Do you feel it? Just a bit. Okay. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. You came flying like a Spitfire. They said you were sick. <laughs> I don't see a sick person. Come and running like that. <laughs> God loves you. Check the pain now. Thank you. Check the pain. How's the pain? <coughs> no pain, Papa. No pain. Bless you. God loves you. Listen, guys, the Lord has shown that He's with you. No matter what comes against you, the Lord still is with you. The Lord still Thank loves you. you. The Lord still loves you. So Thank I'm you, saying Papa. to you, God is with you and you still bring your testimonies. He loves you. Amen. Bless you, Papa. He loves you. We love you, Papa. Amen. Love you too, guys. Mm. Thank you. Amen. Mm. Thank you, the Shilongo family. Uh, blessed, Thank you. Thank you. blessed Zumas, we kindly request that just by the wave of hands, if you have any prayer request, uh, just wave your hands. Okay, uh, we see Joseph. Joseph, kindly unmute your mic. Tell us where you are zooming with us from. Joseph. Greetings, Papa. Hello, Joseph. Joseph. How are you, Papa? Find yourself, Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> yes, Joseph. Joseph. Uh, I have a problem. Mm. You are zooming from Joseph. Mm. Joseph. Um, from Limpopo, Butokwa. Oh, from Butokwa. Yes, Joseph, mm. Joseph. Uh, how can you help me, Joseph, Joseph? Baba? Yes, how can you help me, Joseph, Joseph? Oh, I have a problem. 
I like I I like I watch too much pornography. Then I try to stop, but I can't. Mm. Since when did you start watching pornography? Twenty seventeen. Oh, it's a lot, ne? So it mm. means this is addiction now. Mm. Yeah, but I would like you now after praying for you, delete everything and even stop doing social media, ne? Mm. Yeah, stop that because obviously it leads you to that, ne? Mm. It leads to that. Stop social media completely. Remove those YouTube. Don't go into them. Because instead of right, going to the right page, you go to the wrong page. Mm. You understand, ne? I'm going to pray for you, ne? Mm. Mm. As you confess, God forgives you. It's also confession. Stop. God forgives you and it causes God to come and remove that. The word of the Lord has come on the roof to command the spirit of addiction to depart. Addiction of pornography, sexual addiction, depart. Masturbation, out of a life. Evil of masturbation, out of a life, out of a body, out of a soul. Your darkness, depart. Your sexual addiction, depart completely. Evil of masturbation, out of a life. Your evil who affected her mind, depart. Out of a life, out of a body, out of a soul. Your sexual addiction spirit, depart completely. Evil of pornography, gadget addiction, depart. Evil of gadget addiction, out of a life. Spirit of pornography. You evil who affected the mind, depart. You evil who affected the mind, depart quickly. We pull it out. We pull it out. We pull it out. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up in Jesus' name. Joseph? Papa? When you masturbate, that's when you feel like your head does not function. It's like you start forgetting easily. Mm. Huh? This you didn't mention. Yeah, you just said pornography, but you masturbate. And now, mm. as you masturbate, it affects your mind. You fail to think correctly. Yes. You forget easily. You're, you're yes, in, in terms of school, you're no longer performing like you used to perform. Yes, Papa. You're going down. So I'm just trying to show you. It's not that you're going down because of anything else. And there's some... I'm trying to show you why I'm praying for your head that it has affected your head. There's pain that will come at the back of the head. Huh? Yes, Papa. Pain. Yes, Papa. You feel your headache. It's pain that hits at the back going up. Yes, Papa. So I'm just trying to show you. It's because it's as a result of that. It took away yes, from Papa. your mind. Mm. You thought you were just masturbating, but it affected your mind. Yes. But we thank God that the Lord has set you free right now. Ne? So what I'm saying mm. is, is stop, stop, stop. Social media. You get it, ne? And the itchiness yes, of no private, the itchiness of no private shall no longer come. Itchiness. 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 This is already spiritual. This is already spiritual. Itchiness. Itchiness on your private part. All evil departs. All evil departs. It's over. That itchiness is no more. How do you feel now? All darkness departs. We pull out this evil. 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 How do you feel now? I feel better. Do you still do you still feel that or? No, no, I don't feel anything. You don't feel anything. Mm. God loves you, no? So 
Yeah. Understand one thing. That's what I'm saying now. I'm talking about the itchiness. When it starts itching, you scratch, but now you look for a private place. The itching ends up in going on with masturbation. Mm. So if this was not removed, you were going to, because now we prayed for her, the head thing is, has left. But now if God does not show us or cause us to identify the itchiness, because when it gets itchy, you scratch yourself, but you, at the same time, you look for a private place, you start masturbating. Yes, Papa. You understand this, no? So yes, if Papa. we were, God has not shown us or make us to identify such, you were going to go on. But I think the Lord will set you free, no? Yes, Papa. I think the Lord will set you free. So the itchiness would you want private and even on your thighs, not just on your private. Mm. On your thighs, you feel itchy. Mm. And now, because of the pressure that will be in your body, you'll have some chest pain. Am I right? Chest yes, pain. Papa. It's chest pain. It has caused that because of the pressure. Yes, Papa. Right in the chest, spiritual operation is happening. Spiritual operation is happening. Spiritual operation is happening. Right in the chest. All evil of darkness departs. All evil departs. You see, w w when, when the word says spirit gives birth to spirit, go the opposite side. Whatever wrong is done, when it starts becoming spiritual, it gives birth. That's why now she says pornography. But now spirit gave birth. How's the chest pain now? It's fine, Papa. It's gone. God loves you. God loves you. That's why now, it's, it's, it's spirit giving birth. I mean, from, from 2017. You see, when spirit gives birth, it generates some things in your body, sicknesses, everything, and it affects the mind now. You're no longer the person you used to be. So when it says spirit gives birth to spirit, the spirit giving birth to spirit from our side. And the other side, whatever you start, spirit starts giving birth now to spirit. You understand the whole thing, eh? Yes, Papa. Yes, how do you feel now? I'm, I'm okay. You're okay now, no? God loves you. That's why mm. I'm saying I thank God for your confession. It's also confession. Mm. Some, some, some would be afraid God to mention this. It's confession. God has set you free. Yes, is there anything you wanted to say, Joseph? Yes, Papa. So, Papa, I... I don't know because um, my my parents are from the law and they are, they are pastors in the church. Mm. Then they forced me to go to that church. Or oh, it's more traditional. It's more of the law. Mm. Uh -huh. Then I, I I once had the dream when you said to me that I said, Papa, I want to receive from you, and you said, eh, I must remove the law. Mm. Yeah, it's important. Mm, then, it, it's important to remove the law. It won't help you. Yes, Papa. Mm. And and mm. that's why I'm saying God loves you because for God to reveal such, it means God takes you out. Do away yes, with Papa. the law. Do away with the law. Yes, Papa. Do away with the law. Um. First of all, confess. Do not be disobedient to the vision. Speak to your parents. Speak to your parents. Tell them straight about the law. The teachings about the law. You know the series is just get our teachings about, about when we teach more about tradition, the law. And show your parents. Speak to them. Mm. If you can't, remember, salvation is personal. It says, work out, cultivate your own salvation. If God started speaking with you, it means God has got a purpose with you. 
Yes, Papa. He has got a purpose with you. So do not be disobedient to the vision. Follow the vision. Yes, Papa. Is it clear? Yes, Papa. Everybody must know salvation. It's not, there's no MD of salvation in the house. Yes, there's no CEO of salvation in the house. Salvation is personal. It's personal. I mean, if God confronts you and not talking to your parents, you come out. You, you understand, eh? Yes, so, but also pray for your parents to be able to come out. That's why I'm saying it's important yes. to show them all those teachings about the law and everything. I mean, there's a lot of teachings. I believe we taught a lot about a lot about this. And, uh, and, and, and when you talk about the law, I'm from the church which was serious <laughs> full of the law. And you must check people who come out of churches of the law. Check how God is using them after coming out. Yeah. I can quote a few that I know that are from the law. Serious law. I'm from the serious law. I'm from... When, when you come out, I can quote a few of them who came, you see them, God using them. Know where they, just know, just track where they come from. The moment God says, come out, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. There's freedom. There's freedom. You understand, eh? So, also, have confidence. Be bold. I mean, look how God helps you. And who knows? Some of the things increase because you, you are in the law. I mean, from 2017, watching pornography, masturbating, doing all those things, and with the law. And with the law, you think people are holy there. They are all virgins, but foolish. In the law, you become a virgin with wisdom, becoming wise. On a serious note, you must take it. Yeah, I'm from the law. They taught us the righteousness, Baba. Righteousness, Baba. Dressing somehow. <laughs> she knows. You see, she's laughing. She knows. She knows. She's not, she's not wearing a duke because she's in the house. She's not wearing a duke because she's in the house. I'm from, I'm from the serious, serious law, Baba. When it's hot, no matter how hot, you must close the jacket. No matter how hot. God does not operate in a shed. <laughs> but, but I'm from there, but I say to some extent, to some extent we were helped. You know why? To some extent we were helped. You know, and we fasted. We used to fast. We were praying 4 a.m., praying every day. You, you hear she's laughing. She knows all these things because she's from the law. We were praying, but mixing with what? That's why I'm saying, to some extent, we, we, we got help. Why? Grace, when God takes you out, He takes you out while you are saved from other things. I can take it that way. I can take it that way. Because God says, okay, they teach you that, but you're going to be stagnant. Come out. So, salvation is personal. Go for it. Please get those teachings and learn from them and try to speak to your parents, discuss it nicely. You know, respecting them, show them. Um, but you know, when it comes to when it's personal, be personal. It's salvation. Salvation is personal. He says, cultivate your own, your own salvation. That's why I said there's no MD of salvation in every house. 
You can become the light in your house. Are you fine with that? Yeah. But I thank you for confession and you are saying everything now. You see, you confessed boldly. Do you know the congregants of your father are watching you? I'm just speaking the reality now. Hmm? You see, everybody's quiet now. I just mentioned something and you're laughing. I want you to laugh like that when in tomorrow when they <laughs> God loves you, ne? Go for it. God loves you. So, Papa. Mm -hmm. So I went. I went to my school. Then I found a uh, your um the church. Then I entered the church. Um, it's your son's church. Then I'm I'm under it when I'm at school. Mm -hmm. When you're at school, a at least you mm. got, you got somewhere where you can run to at least, ne? But now mm. confess everything now. Go home. Mm. Show them everything, ne? Still, we are saying that they are your parents. I'm just trying to show you some way when I say some way they help us to some extent. And because um, many people are in the law, I'll be honest with you, they'll be law so strict. And yet people in their private places, it's not that law. It's not that law. And some of them were told, you can't, you have to do this. And some in their private places. And it, it, and it says, uh, Romans 8, God did what the law could not do. For the power of the law was weakened by their sins. So where there's law, there's more sin. You can imagine, you grew up in such a house. In such, but from 2017, do they know what is happening? Do you know what is happening? It says, you must check it correctly, Romans, it says the power of the law was weakened by their sins. So if you preach the law on the pulpit, everybody listening to you, they are more powerful than you. Because the power of the law was weakened by their sins. So the, there's more sin that many people are not aware of. So the power of the law is weakened. That's why it says God did what the law could not do. For the power of the law was weakened by their sins. So their sins are more powerful than the law we're supposed to make them right. That's why I would appreciate one part. We were praying, we were fasting and everything. <laughs> You are praying, you are fasting with a duke and a long dress. With duke. If you don't wear duke, you are satanist. So, Papa. Also, like I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of, um, of appearances in, in physical. You see now. That's why we say, do not be disobedient to the vision. You are afraid of appearances in the physical. But also, I can understand to some extent because of um, the, the fear comes with the influence also of unrighteousness. Because when the appearance of God happens, even in the physical, whether in physical or not in the physical, what do you do? You feel guilty because you know of what you're doing. So it adds on Alors, that fear. Am I right? Yes, Papa. It adds on that fear. But now that's why I'm saying, thank God when God says, come out, God says, come out. Many people, I repeat, many people, I can point you who and who, who came out of the church of the Lord. Look how God is using them. Meaning God has got something to do with you. God wants to use you with something. That's why God takes you out. So when the thought salvation has been there, God is using someone close to them to reveal true salvation. So that's why I'm trying to show you. Appearances are, when they come, when appearances come, fear is influenced by what? But if you are in rest in your God, even though you are afraid, but it's not like when you are in, in sin. You get it, no? Is it clear? Mm. Yes. Is it clear, no? 
Yes. So God is with you. You work out your own salvation and allow God to come anyhow. Allow God to reveal yes. anyhow. Yes, Papa. Appearances. Um, you, you, have you ever seen appearances where people run the away from their houses? <laughs> from the bed. From the bed. I'm to Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. I, God I, is like, God. Uh, just surrender. Say, it's, just surrender. Say, so God, uh, do whatever. Yes, Papa. Do whatever. Don't worry. Even me. I did run away. I did run away. I think that time I ran faster than God. I don't know. I think that time. I ran away. Yes. From the lounge. I went like ping ping into the bedroom. In the bed, I went. Yeah. I called him. And that time I was scared. Yo. Yo. Because we used to pray and everything, then we came out of the law. And I started praying. You know, when God gives you, start this, do this. And I started praying. I started praying. I said, yes, if you say this, come now. But I was never disobedient to the vision. Many people, people went after me. Even some men of God say, no, everything is ready. We give you a church, you lead it. And then there's no need to struggle or buy whatever, or do whatever. We hate about you. Some people even came where I was staying. But the, it was strong in me that you take nothing from men. That was very strong. And then sometimes I refer back then I said, but it means this stubbornness is not what people are saying. It means it's healthy. It means it's healthy. Offering a big thing and say, look, building, there's no need for you to go. We not bother you. We will not do it like where you come from. Because they already heard about me. But, you know, offers have been there. Recruitment agencies have been there all along. So, but just refusing and say, but God said. God said. God said. You must never be disobedient to the vision of God. You understand what I mean? Eh? You're still young. Yes, Papa. Those appearances come, those vision comes. Now, deal with these things. Don't worry, understand. That's why I treat you this way. Your confession takes you far. Yes, Papa. Is there anything else? Uh, I remember last Last week when I was at school, I was with another general. Then we were just, um, we were just talking. Then I saw on a on a window. Then I saw um, who's that? Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth again. Mm. Then I said, "This my eyes." I, I thought it was my eyes. Mm. Mm. You thought it. So in a case again, it's not of the law. Come on, go for it. Mm. Go for it. Come on, go, go for it. Go for it. God has set you free now. Yes, go for it. Yes, Papa. You understand, eh? God is with you. Yes, when Papa. God takes you out, he takes you out. And we talk about Kenneth again. If people of the things that happen, you know, when I was from the law, they were saying, even including others, they say, no, that, that's not the spirit of God. People go, yeah, people like, yeah, 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 yeah. And now here comes the different <laughs> Now, when I start working and working for God, some manifestation started. Hey, I was in trouble. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, I was in trouble now. Hey. I can't remember. They called the spirit of what? I can't remember this. They call it Toronto spirit. Yeah, from the law. Yeah. Yeah. They said, they said it's a spirit from Toronto. I think she knows. Look at it. Yeah, from the law. Yeah, those who laugh, they know. 
<laughs> they say it's Toronto Spirit. And you know, the men they were talking about, the men they were talking about, I was in the law, I dodged. I went Nicodemus, like Nicodemus, I went that night. The men came, came, came there, there, there. He came. Okay, he came there. So I left. Somebody told me that this man came. When I arrived there, ah, it's the birthday they to run to, and I'm there. And TVs, you know, cameras are moving. Yo, I'm good to appear, they're going to see me. Ah, but you know conviction. You know conviction. The man was preaching. I said, but this message is different. The man was preaching. When he started, people chugged people fell. Hi, I didn't care. I, I, I forgot. You know some of the things where they happen. You forget that there's a camera. You, <laughs> you forget that they're going to see you. I checked. You know this thing of, of, of when they, you come back, they say, where were you? I, I'm from my auntie somewhere. I, me, I was going to speak the truth. I was going to speak the truth. So, so I look, you know, I asked for forgiveness. I asked for forgiveness before God and I went straight to him. He prayed for me. When I came back, ah, tell me. When I came back, tell me. Ah, Toronto. <laughs> when God calls you out of the law, he reveals everything about himself. And this is the person where I was, they were talking about him. Ah, it's Toronto. You must not do this. It's Toronto. Holy Spirit is not Toronto, man. Holy Spirit is not Toronto. And now when you do that, it's no longer Toronto. It's Haragua. <laughs> <laughs> it's grass. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Mm, they call it what? Joseph? What did they call it? They call it what? It's not, it, it's not your portion. Your portion is the glory. <laughs> ah, they call it Toronto. You know, that's what happened with me as well. I went at night alone. You don't invite anybody. <laughs> I went, you don't call anybody. And, and when you enter that place, you try to say, I'm going to find a corner at the back. You find an usher, welcome, welcome, welcome. And usher say, welcome. They give you a seat where the camera always passes. Hey, but I repented, I'll be honest with you. And, and that time, it's like God was making me listen that you listened to men. This is my servant. This is my power. This is my glory. And the way it happened, I said, if my heart was moved, I said, yeah, more, get on now. <laughs> ah, but I enjoyed it. It's nice. I can tell you the story about my life. You love and you, your heart will be painful. I'll bring you back. You'll be fine. You... <laughs> No, God is with you, ne? Go for it. Yes, Papa. God loves you. Forget about everything. Focus on Christ. And I glorify God who delivered you tonight. Yes, Papa. Amen. So don't Amen. be afraid of those appearances. Be obedient to those visions. Yes, Papa. God is with you. You know when God Amen. locates a person and says, come out of the law, where you are, it means God has a purpose. Yes, Papa. So go for it. God loves you, ne? Yes, Papa. Amen. Amen. Can you imagine now they're going to now they're going to move. <laughs> she said everything. Hmm? Hmm. 
So on, on, on behalf of the child, please parents forgive us. It's just the way of the Lord, which we can avoid. When it's in our hearts, it's impossible to reject it. Let's go for it. God is wonderful. Amen. Do you have the next one? Yes, there is. Uh, Chris, Chris, kindly unmute your mic. Tell us where you are Zooming with us from. Uh, good morning, generals of God. I'm Zooming from Tembisa. Okay, Chris. Uh, today I'm calling for a prayer request mm. and some few dream interpretation. Mm. Uh, lately, I and my family have been experiencing like your hardships, yo, you like. So last week, Wednesday, my sister's husband drank poison. Mm. And and we, we called the prayer line, then they prayed for him, I think twice. Then after then, he from from 100% ventilation to 30%. So he was now from 100% breathing with machines, he went back to 30. Mm. Then I think Friday on Friday they, they released him. Then wow. after then he was coping okay. So I, I think when he thought of what he did, maybe uh, he, 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 he went back to that 30% of breathing with machines. So they took, they took him back to ICU hmm. and making him to breathe in machines. Hmm. Then this, no, that happened last of last week. Then last week Wednesday, the, the Wednesday were coming from, my, 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 my other sister's husband, uh, he had, he, he had symptoms of, of, of kidney failure. So when, 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 when they took him, cause he was unable to breathe, then they took him to Galfantine clinic. Then after then they took him to, they, they transferred him from Galfantine clinic to Tembista. So when he arrived in Tembista, they did few tests, they did few tests, then today, the doctor called us today morning and the doctor said uh, he's experiencing chronic kidney failure so it might happen or chronic kidney disease so it might happen that uh, he might need a kidney donor so after that processes that they, they do trying to give him pills trying to to uh to to make sure that his kidneys are operating well if if they are operating well and he, he does not have the symptoms anymore. So they, they, they won't opt for a kidney donor. But if his kidneys are failing, they will opt for a kidney donor. And on Friday, the, the Friday that we we're coming from, my grandmother died, like out of nowhere. Like he, she, she, she died out of nowhere. It was because she collapsed. Then they took it to the hospital. Then they declared her dead. So it was so, so, so hard. And after all, me, me, me as, the, me and my sister, because we, we, we are we are both saved in the family, so we 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 ha we have to be strong for other family members to 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 give them strength, to give them hope. And for me, me uh, for me, it's so hard because they, they they keep on saying I'm strong, and oh, it's hard, baby. Ooh. Mm. No, I'm still saying to you, just be strong. We understand. Just be strong. Trust in the Lord. We know we're saving. You're the only people who are born again. Let what they go through cause them to know salvation. Let's pray for them and let God reveal himself in, the, in your families. So you're, 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 you're the one of kidneys, what's his name? Uh, the, the one of kidneys is your son. Uh, he, his name is Louis Mabuza. Who? Louis Mabuza. Louis Mabuza, Louis, ne? And the other one yes. with... Um, with poisoning. Uh, with poison? His name is Piwe. Okay, let, let me pray for them. The word of the Lord locates in Piwe right now. The word of the Lord locates in Piwe with power to remove all this evil, all this darkness. I speak to that poison that in Piwe took right now. You poison become positive to his body. You poison begin to work positively and favor him. I speak life. You pause and now you have been swallowed up by life to behave and do the right thing and not the wrong thing in that body. I speak light, I speak life, and it is done. All the side effects 
of that poison depart. And I declare life. It is done right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The word of the Lord also locates Louis. The word of the Lord locates Louis right now. Heaven is opened. The door of heaven is opened, coming with new kidneys in his body. The door of heaven locates him to restore him, to give him life, to restore him. And it is done. His body is prospered. His soul has prospered. He has prospered in every way in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray for the whole family. I command every sickness, every disease to depart. The spirit of death depart. Evil of disappointment depart completely. The word of the Lord has come, overshadowing all of you. And I pull out the strong men out of the house. We pull out that strong demon to go. And it is done. You've been blessed. And may told in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my Bless friend. Bless you. Uh, again, I'm still saying be strong. Uh, eh? Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, again, two, I think it was two days ago, I, I, I had this dream. Whereby this dream is so confusing because mm. I, I, was, I was at my, I was at this, this place. So one, there's this guy that came and he, he, he grabbed my, my, my sister's phone. Mm. So when I was, okay, at first I thought that, okay, I, I thought that the gun that he, he, he was carrying is the rear. So, as time goes by, because I saw him not using the gun, so I said, no, that gun is fixed. So when I tried to approach him to grab that phone back, he shot my, my, my right leg. After then, I was, I was down. Then I, I thought of, of, of this girl. Then I said, uh, on my head, I said, what, what is she going to say about me being shot? Because I don't want to stress it. So later on, I, I stood up. Then I saw that black hole. When, 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 when I inserted my finger on it, there was no pain. Then I was shocked. We would know what, what is going on about that pain. Then later on, uh, from there, I went out from that place. I went in, that, uh, in this place where it was a bride. It was me and my other friend. So after then, I went out. Then from that place again, I went to my bedroom. And the date uh, was 31st December 2020. So that girl that I thought about when I was short sent me a, a clip and a, a clip wishing me a uh, happy new year and, and a text saying a uh, happy new year, my dearest. And I hope you, you, you enjoy your day with joy. Then I woke up, then I was so, so, so confused. Now let me pray for you because it's not that good, no? The word of the Lord has come upon you to restore you, to give you life. We command everything good from above to manifest, not everything bad. Everything bad, we command it to go. We speak life, we speak light. We block everything that was supposed to happen badly in your life. We speak light. Light is now shining. You've been blessed and made whole. And I'm sending you with visions and dreams from above. Visions and dreams to encourage, to build. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. God loves you. Don't you worry, you'll bring your testimony concerning your brothers, no? Okay, okay. Amen. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and our next Zuma that we are going to be Zooming with is uh, Notando Fumase. Notando, kindly unmute your mic and also tell us where you are Zooming with us from. I'm greeting Daddy. I, I'm, I'm Notando and I'm Zooming from Portugal's room. I hope I'm audible. Yes, we can hear you, Notando. Yes. So I would like to make, okay, not, it's not request, I'd like to ask for guidance with regards to two things. Firstly, um, the beginning when, when you started teaching about trances, I fell into a trance and I sent one. And I believe the, 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 the service, the following time when the service was on, I don't believe it was streamed, so I don't know if it was explained or not. Um, and then, but then after that one, I, I don't know if, and I don't know if I've, I've been disobedient to the vision which I got or not, because I, I don't know if I'm permitted to say this, but in that trance, I, I saw one of your sons who, when I saw him, he had opened a church. He hmm. opened his church and he was actually planning to do so. And it did happen. And I saw a lot of darkness in the church. And yeah, don't worry. In there. Don't worry. Come in there. There's other ones. 
the trans, we didn't read them. No? There are other transes that we didn't read. Like other people saw who is obedient, who is disobedient. So what you're saying right now, it's like you saw it, and now you saw it happening in reality. Yes. So that's why I'm saying you're not the only one. You were not disobedient to the vision. Some of the trances, we still have them. I'm still going to explain them. So that's why I'm encouraging everybody with trances, don't worry, if you haven't read, we're still going to explain because I believe they teach a lot. So I'm still going to explain them. We still have trances. I told them, no, we'll, we'll see them after we come from resting. Okay, good. That's why now, if you can check the teachings, when lockdown started, it's like we were teaching what was going to happen. It's like we were teaching what was going to happen. And we see a lot happened. And I think it manifested a lot around September. Around September, that's when we see all that. The way we studied, it's the way things are happening now. You get all that. And now when we go into trances, many go into trances, they know who is who now. You understand the whole thing, eh? So you are not the only one. Because I read the other trance, it's the same again. Even about marriages, wrong marriages, everything running for wrong marriages and whatever. Some of the marriages, God shows that I'm going to destroy them because it's not my will. And it's shocking to see such things. It's shocking to see such things. Because people just, and now some of the people, it's emergency marriages. Because more to think they are running away from sin because after lockdown, it's festive season. It's, it's their festivals because festivals. they get busy. Some they quarantine in wrong places. Now, it's not marrying to correct. It's marrying to cover. It was not marrying to correct. It was marrying to cover. So God shows that these things, it, it, if, it's not, if God has planned for you and says after two years, you do it before two years, it's not God's time zone. It's not God's time zone. And that's why I'm saying this time, it's like the Israelites in the desert. God finding out what was in their hearts. So God is with you. You can go on. But you understand this part, no? You understand? Some, some of them you'll know. Some men will know. Interest. God, some of them just with their heart. I know that that one I will not do to open the church. That one is going to open. That one, I know, if some of them when they do, ah, I'm not surprised, this one, you will. The love of money. And at this time we enjoyed sons who says, you know what, since we close churches and we listen to it, we are at peace. Even me, I'm at peace. <laughs> I'm in peace, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I'm in peace. I'm in peace. There's so much peace. There's so much peace. <laughs> yes, you can go on with that. But, but you get it. Some of them, by taking people in trances, many so, even sons, even daughters. And now, and today's teaching shows, even those didn't open, but the, for the fact that you are grumbling, for the fact that you are grumbling, your heart is closed. You're just as equal as those who are outside or who left him. Let's go, you can go on. Yes, and I think at, at that time, from that point on, I wasn't sure what to do, whether to pray, but every time I try to pray, I'll, I'll just be silent, very silent. Don't condemn Nothing yourself. Me. Look, that part, don't condemn yourself. Mm. You see, when God, even me, when God, when I can't pray for something, God, God does not want, what must I do? I won't pray for that. It goes to Romans 9. I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And compassion on whom I will show compassion. So you go, you show compassion where God does not show compassion. 
So don't condemn yourself. Alors ne te condamne pas. I gave an example of saying, I dreamt this person. person when it happens, because now, they say, why didn't you pray? Why, why must I show compassion? What God does not show compassion? I won't, I won't tire myself. If God shows that this person won't change, when this person comes, try to convince, and when he comes in, he wants to control, God says, through his acts, that's how I will evict or remove him. So must I pray for his state? No. No, I can't. No, je peux pas. I can't. Je peux pas. God says I will show mercy si on whom I will show mercy. And compassion on whom I will show compassion. So God does not show Alors, compassion. I go and say I want to show compassion. Who am I? Qui je suis? Who am I to act Qui against God's will? Activities of the Holy Spirit are not compassion one way. <laughs> Ah, we just put it straight. <laughs> 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 I'm not compassion, compassion one way. He says, <laughs> on whom I will show mercy and compassion. compassion. To whom I will show compassion. I don't know what's on my one. I do Show compassion when God does not show compassion. But what is it? Obedience to the Spirit is important. Yes, you can go. You understand, eh? So that part, don't condemn yourself. You have been in a trance. So in a trance, God prepares your body. It's God's will, it's not your will. Can you imagine how many people, example, how many people came and confessed that their things started going wrong when they started praying for me? How many people came? How many? During those confessions, when it started with 2014, when issues started and everything, in the confession, we started, we wanted to pray for you, but now things got messed up. So don't force God to do what he does not want to do. I mean, how many confessions we found that? You, if one of the things to go wrong, pray for me for issues. I mean, some of the things, okay, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Learn God. Learn God. Because some of the things you're forced to do them, your life is affected. Because it's not what God wants. In other words, God takes it that you are like Balaam. You are trying to manipulate God. God's will is God's will. And the person you try to pray for, he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> he's excited to a point that you think that he's a sinner. <laughs> yes, when David danced, they thought he was not right. They thought he was not taking And God approved it. And the one who was trying to say he was cursed. Let's go for God, man. God is exciting. God is exciting. Ah, oh, you can finish there. But anyway, many issues, people's issues, they teach, né? Many issues, they taught a lot of people, né? I believe everything gets dumped like this bread so that when we are on resting, people must start meditating. Amen. Okay, amen. Let's go. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. Um, and I, I, I thank you so much for saying what you said now. You just rebuked me because um, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I tried and I was like, I, okay, something, I don't know what compels me, but I, I find myself praying for, for, for him. And 
the only thing I could say was the will of God. I, I didn't know what else to say. I was just saying the will of God because I didn't want to pray. And I was like, the will of God, the will of God, nothing else, the will of God. Mm. And after that, today, and then after that, I watched, um, the, after immediately after praying, I was led to watch the service on Thursday. And that's when I felt like maybe I was disobedient to the vision because I prayed and I didn't feel good after praying. And then I fell into a trance again and I saw again the church now opened again. Mm. And when I saw it open this time around, I saw a lot of people whom I knew in in there. And also I saw myself in there, but I was not at peace with being there. And I was I was really not at peace. I knew that I should not be there. I kept trying to run out and go away because I knew that you said churches should not open. Mm. So, yes. Mm. And that's why you see with trances, some people, when I say trance, they want to run away. Some they run away from. <laughs> because God shows you deep things. Deep things. And things that will cause you to lose friends. Uh -huh. Go into it. Into a trance. Things that will cause you to lose friends. Things that will cause you to lose to lose your family members. It will cause you to lose your family members. You lose friends, you lose family members. Because what is in the will of God? I want you alone. Who are these people you are with? <laughs> Romans 8 is said, He separated you and set you apart only for Him. Only for Him. In order for you to be conformed in His own image. <laughs> he separated you and set you apart in order for you to be conformed into the image of His Son. When God says, I want you alone, God's jealousy has taken place. God's jealousy has taken place. And you must understand why some people say, they're afraid to watch, they say, we run away because when we did the trans, we begin to see things that are scary. If it's God's will, he chooses, he chooses his own vessel. You are not your own. You are not your own. You are not your own. You belong to him. You are not your own. Never be disobedient to the vision. Obedience to the vision. Obedience to the vision is needed. So all of those are saying, I'm leading you into deep trances, deeper than before you knew. Deeper than before. Deeper than the ones that you knew. Go deep into those trances. Let the will of my father happen. I declare those trances I declare those mysteries revealed. Carelessly drop down to see from above. Carelessly dropped to know the will. In Jesus' name. Let's go to another Zoom. Okay, all right. You can speak. Oh, there's something else. The second thing I wanted to ask, because I'm not sure. Every time you, every time you mention, yeah, you mention it. It's like I'm mentioning. It. Yes, then. 
And someone, <laughs> someone is from the law. <laughs> she saw Kenneth Hagen. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> God saves his manifestation <laughs> from the law, <laughs> taking him out. <laughs> God is wonderful. Let's go for a master. There's no other. There's no other. There's no other master. It's only him. We cannot try to lead on our own. He's the one who leads. Enjoy the activities of the spirit. Activities of the anointing. He's a wonderful God. He's wonderful. Mm, you can try to speak if you can. When you mentioned it not long ago, it's 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 like there was fire in in my belly, even my body, especially my tummy, and also you came this other time and you said I should read the two two, two books of of Amen. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Go for it. God loves you. Read all those books and don't look down upon yourself. Timothy 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 is Timothy. 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 Don't look down upon yourself. Timothy is Timothy. Timothy remains Timothy. Amen. Let's go to the next one. Yes, there is. As we, uh, Timothy, we believe to wait more of those trances, you can share with, them, with us on our WhatsApp line number. And Yeah, uh, everybody went through trances, please, you can still send them, and I'm still going to explain. Not that we, I, we put them aside, I told them I'm going to explain later. Please, all those who went through trances, you can send your trances, and I will still explain. Um, God is with you. God is, we still explain. Some of the trances we don't have to explain because when God reveals, they understand. Some we just have to read them to explain, to teach others. I mean, this is long gone from the vocabulary of many. It's in the Lord. Let's go. Uh, blessed viewers, uh, Zumas, do we have... Any who has a prayer request, kindly show by the wave of hands. My father, I believe... I we believe we're done. Yes, thank you. I hope every one of you, you are not scared. <laughs> I hope every one of you are not scared. I hope this is not disobedience to the visions. God loves you. Thank you all, blessed viewers. We bless God and just eat the flesh, the bread of life, and drink the blood. This will cover you. This will protect you. Eat and drink even for your families, for your relatives, for your friends, as you work out your own salvation. Remember, it remains personal. Believe in what you're doing. The Lord God of glory is with you. And I'm saying to everyone watching all over the world, when the good Lord bless you, remember, the Holy Spirit does not depart 
from previous messages. We've had lots of testimonies. I believe in this week, when there's no live service, we will record testimonies. Do send in your testimonies as you watch previous messages. May the good Lord bless you. See you on the 15th. May the good Lord bless you, and we love you so much. Thank you so much. We do love you. We love you. Love you so much. Bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you. Bless you all.